Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Jose Carlos, and welcome back to my channel. For all my old subscribers, it feels so good to be back. I know it's been quite the time since I've last uploaded a video. And for all my new subscribers, welcome to my channel. I hope that you guys enjoy my content. So for today's video, we are going to be taking a look at some of my rescue orchids that are making quite the comeback. Now, I've actually been attempting to rescue these plants for about a year now. And for most of that year, they've actually just been doing not much besides um, just having uh, pure pseudo bulbs with no roots whatsoever so it was quite scary some of these guys I had to put like a stake right through the pot just to make sure that the plant would stay balanced until it was able to put out a new growth and of course root into its media but during that time I did not water whatsoever because they had no roots I essentially just had to wait and see what they did so this first plant right here that came back to life is LC Tiny Treasure Star Amethyst and it has a gorgeous purple flower with a bright yellow lip and a stunning crystalline texture so I'm very excited to see how plump the new growth is and I shouldn't even say a new growth that is a mature little bulb right there and you'll notice that the back bulbs are a bit shriveled but that's very common for a rescue orchid so you can see that the new growth is much better and I'm quite excited so moving along to our next plant which has another new growth that is quite small but it's gonna get to be quite large in a few weeks so we'll keep track of this one here and this is Encyclia Rufa Goldilocks a beautiful yellow Encyclia that is quite fragrant too so we'll definitely keep our eyes on this one for the few upcoming weeks now up next is a stunning hybrid. Now this one here, um, it doesn't have a particular name yet, but it is LC Angel Heart by SLC Fire Fantasy. And SLC Fire Fantasy is a stunning flared orchid. It has very, very red flares, and I really enjoy that. It's one of my favorite traits from that cross. And that cross, those flares really come through in the progeny, so I can imagine that this is also gonna be a flared Cattleya here. Now this is one of those plants, it actually had those four back bulbs, but they had absolutely no roots, and I thought it was gonna die, you guys, but it certainly has kicked off since I put it in the pot and just kinda let it do its thing. Um, the eyes that it had on the rhizomes that weren't activated yet, you know, they started to develop, and ultimately it gave me two beautiful new pseudo bulbs, and then also a small new growth that should um, get to be the size of those new pseudo bulbs too. So it's quite exciting. You can see that there's roots already going in and around the pot, so that's always a good sign as well. So this is definitely another one that we're gonna keep a close eye on. Now this one up next is certainly adorable. It was literally one pseudobulb and that one pseudobulb came through you guys. So this is Cattleya triania kimbaya. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm butchering that name, I'm so sorry. But anyway, I'm really excited that this pseudobulb back here had just the right amount of energy and it had that one viable eye that was able to produce this beautiful new growth. Now you will notice that this new growth is smaller than the leafless back bulb and that's simply because it has had several setbacks. This is a very common trait in orchids that have gone through a lot of neglect and a lot of abuse or you know simply you know like the back bulbs have you know rotted roots under and the leaves fall off and you know when you go to divide you cut those off oftentimes you know they're near the brink of death and sometimes they don't even make it but this back bulb right here this lone back bulb had just the right amount of energy so i'm extremely grateful and i'm extremely excited to see the flower this is also a species that is endemic to colombia and not only that but they typically use it a lot in their religious festivities in may so it's also commonly known as la flor de mayo so it's a stunning large uh almost classic cattleya type uh, flower that's really really beautiful now this new growth here looks fantastic it's almost mature the leaf looks really beautiful and it also has produced a few roots so hopefully it'll root a little bit more in the upcoming weeks but we will definitely keep our close eye on this little plant right here because i really hope that it pulls through all the way 
Now up next is a plant that I hope I don't butcher the cultivar name of, but it is called Sophrocatlea Mini Collins Pink Sherbet, and it is actually awarded with an award of merit by the American Orchid Society, so I'm extremely excited to see that this plant has recovered from the brink of death, and it ultimately has pulled through with this beautiful tiny little new growth. So once again, you can see that that new growth is a lot smaller than the previous back bulbs, and that that is simply because this plant has gone through a lot of trauma this plant had no roots whatsoever it didn't have any leaves so it was essentially just sustaining itself with the energy that it had in the back bulbs so ultimately you know having those four back bulbs there and once again having that viable eye that was able to develop into this beautiful new growth is you know something that i'm forever going to be grateful for because now if i nurture this correctly and nurture it to a point where it can bloom i can get to enjoy these stunning stunning flowers so i'm extremely excited and once again hopefully we can see this develop into a beautiful uh blooming cat leia our next rescue orchid actually bloomed this year so that's extremely extremely good um, here you can see the plant you can still see that the two back bulbs that were left they still had some leaves in there but there was absolutely no roots underneath uh, you will notice that this plant is actually in a three inch pot but it was put into a four inch pot just for balance and you can even see that the back bulbs since it had no roots they were kind of leaning backwards after you know some time um, you know what I did with this plant you know I put some bark in it and I just set it aside you can actually see that there are some roots developing and they're developing quite vigorously down there and from that small recovering pseudo bulb is the death bloom I'm kidding <laughs> um, it's actually the flower bud that ultimately uh, flowered into what I will show you in a little bit so here you can see the plant once again in a small three inch pot uh, with those kind of you know arching uh, back bulbs there that had no roots and you can clearly see the new roots coming from the new growth so that's definitely a positive sign so I'm very optimistic about this Cattleya mossiae now this Cattleya mossiae is actually a species that I am very very fond of it's actually the species that made me fall in love with orchids so i'm very very excited about that now this variety here is the semi alba variety and it has a gorgeous white flower and here's a picture of that bloom actually which was quite the treat indeed moving along to our next rescue orchid is lelio cattleya dennis oliva's best and this is a magnificent hybrid with beautiful flared flowers. But you will notice that the back bulbs here, once again, they are leafless. That back bulb in the middle towards the top, it has begun to shrivel a lot. And ultimately this plant also had no roots whatsoever. But amongst all that chaos, this plant pulled through just like the others. And you can see that it has a very nice, although small, pseudo bulb coming out from that left side right there and what i did with all of these uh, rescue plants of mine is i basically just potted them up with bark the ones that didn't have balance you know i sometimes put a stake through them just to uh, keep them in place um, but i just put them in bark and i put them aside on my greenhouse in an area where i can keep an eye on them and see if they would start to develop um, and sometimes they make it sometimes they just croak and they just dry up and it's it happens but ultimately these ones here look like they're pulling through so you will notice that new growth coming out from there it's quite nice quite plump and you will notice it is also greener than the back bulbs the back bulbs are a very bright yellow um, extremely shriveled and this one here you can see it's flowering look at those gorgeous flowers i love the flares on this plant and the star shaped of the flower is something that's also a treat ultimately when this plant recovers to its full potential um, and blooms to its full potential also it can hold beautiful sprays of these sunset colored flowers above the foliage so this is definitely an exciting treat now you will notice that you see something very familiar in the background there and that is because this plant is version one of two so there's actually two back bulb rescues that i want to show you here's the other one you can see it looks so majestic just arching with the wind and just doing its thing uh, you will notice that this one here looks a little bit stronger the color definitely came through a lot more it is the same division which is a little bit peculiar it's the same back bulb 
uh, division that is essentially, you know, blooming in a different color. Now, you will notice that the back bulbs are arching very majestically, but amongst that, you will notice that it has a more upright pseudo bulb that is greener, it's a lot more plump, and this one here is also in a four inch pot, just like the other one before it. But it is quite peculiar that the color is stronger than the previous one that I just showed you. And that's gonna conclude my video for today, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in for this showcasing of all of my recent rescue orchids that have decided to come back from the brink of death. And also to all of the new geeks that have joined the channel, welcome to my channel. I hope that you are enjoying my content. And also for all of my previous subscribers, I am so glad to be back here talking to you guys. I will be starting to upload more regularly, so stay tuned. And also feel free to follow me on my social media. I am on Facebook and also on Instagram at The Orchid Geek. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and I will catch you on my next video.